Ooh, daddy. Hi guys, Alex here, and today we've got a doozy. So today I thought we would go ahead and take a look back at Amberlynn's life just one year ago. And today we are looking at her video called Weigh In, and I am super excited. Of course, with these videos, we go ahead and take a look at her progress that she has made in the year. Has she been losing? Has she been maintaining? Did she make promises that she did not keep? And I really love these videos because it gives us quite an insight onto what she's been doing and just how the cycle works. So let's just take a look, shall we? Hey guys, good morning. Hey Amberlynn. I noticed a pattern with these videos about a year ago is she always starts them in bed, like she just woke up. I mean, just woke up. Um, <laughs> I have some chap lips going on, so that's fun. We have a Twinkie star. We have a Rebecca Williams <gasps> on your face. Can I zoom into that? Because I'm going to. So we don't have many she groceries looks going shocked. on right now. So I think we're going to go to Walmart and get a few things because that's important. Yeah. Wow. She put the T at the end of important. So she knows you guys. She just does it on purpose. There we go. First insight. <laughs> yeah. So I picked out Becky's shirt today. If you guys have seen the movie It, then you know exactly what it's from. Loser to lover. It's crazy to see Becky's weight loss in real time. So I wish I was wearing makeup, but like I said before, I'm trying to like take a break from makeup because my- I think 2019 was the year of maintaining. Get styles, like my eyes get styles really easily. Lately, when wearing makeup, even though it's all new makeup, I don't know. This is one of my new sweaters from Torrid. I kind of you know, if you look up styles on WebMD, we know <laughs> that's her favorite thing to look up. The first thing that comes up is, you know, it's a hygiene related issue. It is so soft and actually fits me decently. Are you shaking your head? Yes. Yeah, I like it. Thanks. Does Becky so have makeup have on? She doesn't wear makeup now. I have a very small closet, so I have no more room for my clothes. So I'm gonna Oh my gosh, this is when she bought her rack for her torrid clothes. This rack right here. So I'm hoping this actually helps. I have been needing one of these, so if it does work, then I'll probably buy a few of them. So Becky is being our chef today. She's making us some vegetable soup. So the first ingredient is tomato juice, fresh squeezed tomato juice. Whole fresh can. squeezed. It's in a can. A whole entire can, she says. Green beans, corn, diced potatoes, mushroom, sliced tomatoes, and diced tomatoes. She chose hamburger meat for the meat, so yeah. That's what I brought up putting in it. Um, girl, isn't that too much sodium for you? <laughs> yeah, she's, I've never had this. She's never made it for me. This is something her family used to make, so I'm super excited to try it. I bet you this is just a prediction, and, I mean, I've seen this before, but it's been, like, a year. She's probably gonna denounce the cooking. It was okay. Gotta drain that grease. Becky loves garlic. You can see it from here. <laughs> Not all that's garlic, honey. Not all that's garlic, honey. Some of it's minced onion. I hate onion, but I can deal with minced onion. Oh, you put that in there too? Mm -hmm. That's gonna be good. No, we just I need that pot. Can you get it for me? Yeah. Look at Becky making sacrifices for Amberlynn, even though she doesn't like onions. She took the time to mince it so she could tolerate it for Amberlynn's sake. Stir it. Yeah. So this is just everything. We haven't cooked it yet or anything. <laughs> Ooh, that's a heavy. Watch out, baby. We're about to add the goods. Oh, she's on the You couch. can really hear the fan going. Like, it's really interesting for January to have a fan going. Our girl gets hot. 
I guess when you're the goods have been added, you know, over a Y'all hot know stove. I'm an emotional mess when someone's Instagram bio literally made me cry. Like I just cried. I am so pathetic. So I was on Instagram and I was looking at someone's photo and they commented something that made me laugh. So I clicked that person's photo and on their bio, it literally said word for word, if speed kills me, do not cry because I was smiling. And they don't mean speed the drug, they mean speed like, cause they like cars. Because I know this person, I just don't wanna oh. say like who it is so people don't go like try to go find them or whatever. But it they made would. Me <laughs> they totally would. He like start crying because that's so like true. Like if I die doing something I love, don't be sad because I was happy. Holy like that like got Is me she trying to say like food? Okay, that's a bit strange. I mean girl, I wouldn't cry over that. Obviously it's a person who loves cars and that was kind of just their bio. Lately, I've been really emotional. I don't know if I'm about to start, like, my period or something. But I do have a little cold going on, so that's the situation. But I don't think colds make you emotional. So I'm going to blame it on the PMS. Blame it on the I, 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 alcohol. I, I don't drink, though, so. This one does. This not one over here. Not a lot. Not a lot. You do sometimes. Look, I have applesauce. And what yeah, exactly is the problem with that, Amber Lynn? <laughs> Becky uh, wants to let loose sometimes. I don't really see a problem with that. Amber Lynn admitted to drinking on New Year's Eve this past year, so. Currently making her soup and she's having applesauce, so. I'm super excited to try it. It smells so good. Do you smell it? I'm so excited. That noise is the dishwasher, so. Y'all, soup is. To be honest, if I was in Becky's position, I would probably drink a lot. Completed. I have mine in my mug. So we're gonna go watch a movie while we eat this, but I wanna do a little taste test on here. Ooh, I noticed she was taking the time um, to kind of meme her videos at this point, like zooming in when she's taking the bike, getting those like funny shots, kind of how like the um like the KDW kind of creators do that, the editing videos. Good babe. Kind of Tweaky. memeing herself. <laughs> Tweaky's a protector. This soup though, you guys is a big yes for me i don't I, I enjoy that um i think it shows that she was taking herself a little bit less seriously than she does now she kind of understands why people tend to laugh at things that she does well, look at twinkie my best friend right I remember them buying How to Train Your Dragon recently. So I don't know if they like got a double copy of that or what. Maybe so, they had so many movies that they just forgot that they already had it. Or they could be watching it on a streaming service. We don't know. Right now I am just on my laptop approving friend request for my fitness pal, approving some Twitter followers and replying to people and asking them just doing a little. Oh, I have the that, in on her Twitter. I don't think she's private anymore, but I mean, her account, account is completely gone. But the funny thing is, if she comes back every 30 days or so, because, you know, if you don't sign in every 30 days, they will completely delete your account. And I'm sure she wants to keep that username because I know as soon as she loses that username, if it happens, Someone's gonna take it and start, you know, trolling with it. So, listening <laughs> to music. But she has, oh my God, I'm gonna turn that off. She has Shane Dawson following her on that um, account. So, if you guys were wondering if Shane Dawson knows who she is, he absolutely does. He follows her on Twitter. Look, she has her um, webcam taped. 
guys, there has been a switch over. I am now using my camera. I so wish she would do um, Ask FM. <laughs> but, you know, she doesn't really have to do Ask FM anymore because she does the Instagram Q&As, I guess. But I don't think Instagram Q&As are private. I think you just know who's sending the question, so. Hello. It was also requested that I show a little snippet of me filming with my phone to show the difference again, hello from my camera that my face looks a lot smaller via camera versus via phone like just big difference <gasps> she's so, using I'm her camera a lot now guys I wanted to give you guys a little update on my weight and kind of talk to you guys about that's that that's interesting that she would admit that herself that she looks smaller on the digital camera than she does on iPhone and now she's using the digital camera most of the time <laughs> before anyone says anything I have a pile of clothes back here that is probably bigger than Mount Everest because I need to put them away I'm like in the middle I don't of think that she really does anything that even warrants using a DSLR like the iPhone looks fine for her just because of her content like there's no like wide angle shots of a mountain or anything really interesting or the streets of LA so I don't know it doesn't look that much better doing laundry so okay so I'm not sure how this is gonna work out but we're gonna give it a go so as you guys know Look at those clothes though, like, oh my god. It's just real life struggles. <laughs> I want to lose 160 pounds. Can you guys see that? <laughs> In 2019. So this is Yikes. my goal, which is scary. <laughs> so I want to I believe read. she, um gained about 10 so like it was kind of like the year of maintaining i know it's maintaining you guys um it was the year of maintaining <laughs> she went up like seven or eight pounds ouch i'm left-handed so you guys can't really see me writing sorry I so i don't understand i mean if this is what you're putting out last year why are you so angry when people don't exactly believe that what you're doing this year is working? 400 pounds. Looks like I'm about to play the violin or something. So, so right now the goal is what, 445? Day one, I was 560 pounds. I need to figure out like a better setup for this. Well, she didn't lose an ounce situation because your girl can't hold a big whiteboard like so. So I That's need like crazy. To wall somewhere and just make this whole That's video wild. idea that I had in mind uh, come out a little bit better. But we'll talk about that later. So today is actually day 13. And I just want to say that I have been doing okay. I haven't been binging, and that's very important. This it looks like such a mess in her room. Like, <laughs> I always get, like, self-conscious to make sure, like, my desk is, like, clean. Or this table, not desk, but you can't see how dirty my desk is on camera. <laughs> Here is that I try my hardest to figure out what causes um, me. That's a printer for anyone who cares or was wondering I need to binge i want to focus on the emotions i feel before a binge and all that type of jazz because if i can kind and of all that those jazz. feelings and those thoughts then i feel like my binge eating can be like under wrap <laughs> because obviously i'm always going to be a binge eater and that's something i'm always going to suffer with but having the control to not binge is very important to me so far this year i have only weighed myself three times which was day one at 560 and then i also weighed myself on day nine and i was at 553.4 which put me down 6.6 oh my gosh the wipe board she's used that whiteboard multiple times in the past 
I also weighed myself today at day 13 at 553.0. So that's down 0 0.4, which is a total of seven pounds lost. So that means I have 153 four. more pounds to go this year to reach my 160 pound weight loss. So with that being said, you I could have lost 30 pounds by now. Focus a little bit more on less overeating and stick to no binging, which I am very Have you guys been watching the Thousand Pound Sisters? It's so good. Amy is putting in work. Tammy, not so much. But Amy, like, wow, is putting in work, and you can see the results on her YouTube channel now. Myself for. So we are back to my phone now, which I could definitely say I prefer how I look using my camera, but I also want to use my phone. And if you guys are wondering, this is what my camera looks like. I always have you guys on this little tripod thing and it's just, yeah. Anyways, I also like the quality of my phone camera, so I just, I'm going to be using both. And I don't think that matters. So, Bull. some people have been asking me about the giveaway. I still have that going on my Instagram. If you guys want to go be a part of that, go read all about it. It's my newest post, R-A-R-I-T-Y-C-A-T. I like it. So, I've was talking about this in the last video, I think, or one of the videos, her Instagram giveaway. And you guys told me that she did a giveaway on Instagram and the winner was an influencer with like 100K followers. Like, really? That is my Instagram. I'm going to choose the winner, I guess, in the next couple of days. It's just I know people are still commenting on there and I want to give everyone a chance to be a part of it. So anyways, I just wanted to end this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, so what did you guys think? We are going to take a look at the public perception at the time by doing a comment of the day. All right, you guys, it's our favorite time of the day, and that is, of course, comment of the day. And today we are looking at Amber Lynn's weigh-in from 2019 and getting a feel for the public perception at the time. And I just realized something that she did not actually weigh in in this video. She simply told us her weight and we are going to have to take her word for it. Because as she said on Instagram the other day, she has never lied. So she feels no need to explain or apologize for it. Let's randomly pick a winner. This is from Lovely B. You are new here. I believe this is a reply to a new am baby. This should be interesting. Amber Lynn knows everything about weight loss. If you leave her tips and tricks or even try and give her any advice, then you are a hater. I found this out the hard way. I reached out to help her and she told me to kill myself. I doubt that. She is a vile person. She only accepts ass pats. Um... I kind of doubt she told this girl to blank herself. I mean, if she did, there would be screenshots everywhere about it and nobody would stop talking about it. But I do have to agree with the first part of the comment. And she kind of said the same thing in her video that don't even bother giving me advice because I know what I'm doing. Crystal says, you go girl. So proud of you. In hindsight, <laughs> that's a reply. That is a reply. This is from Alexa, and she says, well, essentially, that's what she was saying. It's dark, but I guess she's accepting that she's dying. Okay, so I guess this is a comment about uh, um, the fact that she was saying that story about the Instagram thing, and that's kind of what I touched on. Let's pick the most liked recent comment. You lost 0.4 pounds. That's literally a fart, girl. Come on. <laughs> so it seems that the public perception at the time was a lot of people were rooting for her, but the people who had been there for a long time knew what was up, and that's kind of where we're at now. So... <laughs> Yikes. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.